Hello, I am John, and today I'm just going to ramble. I know, ow, that sounds a little weird to some of you people, but you probably haven't seen any of my videos, because sometimes at the ends I ramble, and I sometimes feel like I can ramble on for hours, just because that's kind of the person that I am. I am used to having to explain myself, I'm used to having to do all this stuff, wow, I have 207 hours on Rome through Total War, and it's a pretty new game. Anyway, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna start on the game and see where it takes me. Not sure which game I want to start on. Let's go with the one that's probably the highest rated. Okay, Gregu. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about with it. I, I guess I could talk about the consumer guys. So the Goo, which is one of the factions, so like these guys, they're they're made out of little tiny nanites. I think they're called nanites, yeah. Nanobots, nanites, whatever you want to call them, which pretty much form into formless goo-like structures, or it, they're capable of also turning into units. AKA, they're actually like they're made by the human guys in this. I think I've explained this in the video that I made them for it. But they were made by the human guys, at least that's what they say, to be like scavengers, not scavengers, but explorers. So they were sent out in like teleportation rockets. I think they're called keyholes. Well, not teleportation rockets, but teleportation holes. It's like little rip spaces. It's like, ugh. Explaining things is hard. Anyway, so... Uh, okay, let's get the thoughts together. Okay. So, beginning of the campaign, pretty much learn about these things called keyholes, which is the beta's one and only way of traveling through the stars. But what I can tell, keyholes are wormholes. So, pretty much no faction is actually advanced enough to go from planet to planet through space. Well, I mean, some of them probably are, they just decide not to. So instead, they use the keyholes, which are pretty much teleportation areas that allow you to go from planet to planet without actually having to go into space. So in other words, it's probably a lot quicker, a lot safer, question mark, a lot of everything. So they probably just sent a whole ton of goo things through those, because that's how they teleport, that's how they explored the stars. Then they just kind of deactivated the whole program thing with Bob. So the goo continued to evolve and stuff because they were uncontrolled, uncontained. And yeah, they became mass units of destruction. And I've just kind of been wanting a faction like that, and I've also explained this ever since I was pretty young, playing with Silly Putty that I... To explain this in a simple matter, I just took a whole ton of Silly Putty and put it together. Like, didn't care about the color, didn't care if it was, like, luminescent or not, since there was some of that stuff that glows in the dark. I don't really get the glow in the dark stuff, but I just took it and made it, and just kind of chucked it together. I think some of it's, like, lying around all across the house, but most of it's in, contained in one little area. And I used to pretend that my Legos got, like, eaten and contaminated with it, because I was also kind of interested in Halo at the time. Yeah, I did play Halo at the time. And in Halo, there are these units called the Flood. The Flood are biological organisms that are really weird. They, pretty much the one main unit, which, by what I can tell, is like, technically the only thing that is full, 100% Flood. Eh, it's kind of debatable. Yeah, I think there's only one unit that's actually not full flood, but then again, I don't know. Anyway, there are actually two units, but whatever. Anyway, so they are. God damn it, I can't remember their names. I can't remember a lot of the names. I, it's been a long time since I actually looked up the floods' names and stuff like that, but pretty much they go and. They're kind of like head crabs, I guess. I mean, if you don't know what they are, I don't really know much what they are, I don't even remember what game they're from, but they pretty much just ha are like weird little turkey-like things that they just look like a turkey body, but with like four legs that 
knocked out, stretched, and then they just kind of go and pretty much absorb your head, I guess. They just eat your head and turn you into a zombie. I've never actually seen the game, so I don't know what the hell happens. I'm just going to guess that that happens, though. Probably wrong, but whatever. That's just the safest bet for me. Anyway, so, with the Flood, though, they're different. Those guys pretty much try to get to your spine, change your DNA. That's what they do. They pretty much change your DNA, make you mutated, and then make you accept them into your whole database thing. That's what they do, I think. I think that's what my friend told me. Yeah. And that's what I kind of read, too, since I did read a little bit on the Flood, since why not? They're interesting. And, yeah, so... Then they kind of just go inside of your mouth and turn you disgusting, really. Like, it, it is just ugly. It, it just is. Like, random stuff does grow on the person. Like, usually their arm, just one of their arms just kind of gets all ten, like weird tentacles two weird tentacles kind of grow out and around it, making it a lot more bulky and a lot larger and a lot more capable of actually, like, smacking the shit out of people. Then the other one is still open for guns and stuff so they can still shoot, but, you know, whatever. And, yeah, that's... So, yeah, I kind of like to do that. I also kind of like to form them into weird ghost-like things that kind of look like Ben 10 Ghost. And, yeah, I mean... I always, always, I was kind of always about the whole, oh, hey, one thing that you can just go swipe over a whole field and consume. Since I also played StarCraft 2, and sure, StarCraft 2, the Zerg in it, which are creatures that, which, actually, they're pretty much just creatures, weird creature things. Sure, they don't actually consume and stuff, but, I mean, they did a second best thing. They have, like, infected... Terrans, which Terrans are the humans, they can, like, infect people with a parasite, sort of virus thing, and then they become that. They become sort of zombie-like things. Tentacles and weird bone structures pop out of them. They pretty much become ugly little bastards, but, you know, that's what happens. That's what happens. So what happens, you know? It, it, it's just, it's, it's just a part of life. Ugly bastards are just a part of life. <laughs> worst, worst advice ever, by the way. Ugly, uh, everything is part of life, really. Ugly, beautiful, in between, smart, dumb, annoying, not annoying, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. Let's just, I don't know. See, this is what happens when I ramble. I just go on to random-ass topics and random-ass shit. I'm not even sure how long this video has been so far, and, uh, I don't know. Okay, so only eight minutes. I'm, I'm kind of just tempted just to leave it here, but I think I need to ramble on a bit more about random stuff, too. Anyway, so, yeah, let's go to another game. I think I'm kind of dried up and stuff. Guns of Icarus. Guns of Icarus is awesome. It's... I'm probably just going to do, like, explanations that then just go from there for rambling since my brain does spaghetti stuff. Anyway, Guns of Icarus, it is a steampunk airship game. If you have not seen my videos on it, I have made videos on it. The three... Go check those out. They are cool. Also, go check out my three... My soon to be three Grey Goo videos. They're also decent. I mean, I don't want to give myself too much credit because that just kind of sounds like I'm an asshole who thinks too highly of myself when others may not think so. But then again, it's kind of good to have a higher opinion of yourself. Since, I mean, how I kind of look at like to look at it higher. The higher opinion of yourself you have, the higher opinion you can make other people have. I mean, you can't go too high or else you're just kind of a self-centered asshole, but, or you're like, you think that you're the best person in the world when in truth you're the worst. But, I mean, having that higher opinion, you can try, you know, you're a bit more willing to do stuff. So you can do stuff, you know, you're a bit more confident to do things. 
I don't even know how to, how the hell to phrase this, but I think I'm doing good. You're a bit more confident to do certain things that you wouldn't do if you didn't think that you would be able to do them. What? Okay, you know what? That, that just kind of... That's just... That's just random. I mean, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Since I think I'm doing good right now, trying to do some advice thing, you know, try, really a lot of my advice is weird sounding, but it makes sense once I explain it. Like, you want to be self-centered. Since you don't want to just go and always help people, because then you're never helping yourself. If you never help yourself, then you're never going to get anywhere. You want to help yourself at least a little bit. Or else you're not going to get anywhere, then you're just going to pretty much be the doormat that everyone goes to rub their ass on and get free money out of. It's just like a genie lamp, only you're a rug and money comes falling out of you every time someone rubs their ass against you. <laughs> I just, I'm just going to let that comment sink in. Um, well, yeah, I mean, uh, my advice is weird, but I still feel like it's good. So, I mean, I have been through some things. I have been through some things. I probably won't say them now, since I'm kind of waiting until I get to be A, a bigger YouTuber, and B, actually showing my face and stuff. Because then I can uh, maybe do a draw my life or just explain my life thing. Probably won't draw my life, since I don't feel like doing a sort of time-lapse mixed with editing that, so I may just, you know, explain, maybe show some, like, pre-drawn pictures. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my friend Shaylee can do animating, since she'll be good. She's, she's a really good artist. Uh, Anime Watching Dragon, I believe, is her YouTube thing, and she has... She does, like, time-lapse drawn drawings, or speed drawings, as she calls them. I just call them time-lapses, since it goes fast. She makes it go faster because it's supposed to be a speed drawing, you know. It, in truth, it takes her longer, but then it is, since I think she says each one's only about a minute long. And I've seen her take, like, two minutes on drawings and stuff like that. You know, she's a really quick artist. But I don't know how much detail she actually goes in, since I'm I, I'm not one of those people who can go and sit around and watch people be way too good, be better artists than they are. <sighs> I mean, Chili is a nice person, and I just wish that she would not get fucking grounded. Right now, she is apparently grounded, so she cannot use her fucking computer. Why the hell did I say that? I don't know. Since I really want to play some more goddamn Cards Against Humanity with her. What the hell is going on now? I am talking to people who are not there, technically. A.K.A. you people who are watching this video right now. About shit that I usually talk to myself about in my head. You know what? I ramble in my own head. So I'm, 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 I should probably end this right here at 13 minutes. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this really random-ass bullshit. <laughs> I'm probably going to do some more of this, because, I don't know, it's, it is kind of fun. It is kind of fun for me. Maybe I can have some other, some, like, guest, guest ramblers on. Not guest speakers, guest ramblers on to help me think of topics and shit to talk about. I'm not going to go into politics just yet. I may do that next episode. Fuck you, Donald Trump. <laughs> Okay, there's that's enough politics. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Tell me if you want more of this rambling. And I'm just gonna tell you my new policy for video stuff. Okay, 30 views or 10 likes. Whichever one happens first, I'll do another video. Unless, of course, I just want to do a video. Since I don't want to do videos on just two fucking games. Since that gets boring. Especially since one of the games only gets, like, weekly updates and hasn't gotten an update in two fucking weeks. At least. I'm talking about fucking Paint the Town Red, which is, like, one of my second most viewed. Actually, it's the most viewed. It's the first most viewed. 
And the second most viewed is Grey Goo right now being very fucking popular. Which I I guess I can kind of understand. I mean, it is a pretty cool game. Uh, I'm doing it again. Anyway, ignore the ignore the epileptic flashing mice. I just needed something so that it wouldn't be a pitch black background, so I just decided to do the steam thing. Plus, it gets plus it helps me generate ideas. Anyway, before I before I fucking ramble on too much, since I I'm I'm just gonna shut up and say bye.